Hi, let's quickly solve this with our calculator. All we need to do is to simplify this number. And to do that, this number is same thing as what? Square root of 1, 1, 1, 1 multiplied by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Plus 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 5, right? 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 5. Perfect. Now, this is equal to square root of 1, 1, 1, 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 plus 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 0 plus 5. Okay? So, we continue. This same thing as square root of 1, 1, 1, 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 plus 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 multiplied by 10. Right? Plus 5. All right. So we keep simplifying. This is equal to the square root of 1, 1, 1, 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 plus 2 brackets 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, right? Because 2 multiplied by this will still give us this. Multiply by 10 plus 5. All right. Now <laughs> we continue. So this same thing as what? Square root of... This one, 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 one is same thing as nine, 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 nine divided by nine, right? All right. Multiplied by 10 to the power of six plus two brackets. The same thing here. We have nine, nine, five of them divided by nine. Multiplied by 10 to the power of one plus five. Now, this is equal to what? The square root of... This uh, 9999, nine, 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 that is 9,999, is the same thing as 10,000 minus 1, right? 10,000 minus 1 divided by 9, okay? Everything multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 plus 2 brackets. Now, this same thing as 99,999, which is equal to 100,000 minus 1 to 1. So, it's going to be 100,000. 1, 2, 3, minus 1, divided by 9, multiply by 10 to the power of 1 plus 5. All right. Now, we continue. This is equal to the square root of... Now, 10,000 is same thing as 10 to the power of 4, minus 1, divided by 9, then multiply by 10 to the power of 6, plus 2 brackets. This same thing as 10 to the power of 5, minus 1 divided by 9 multiply by 10 to the power of 1 plus 5 now this is equal to the square root of now let's open this bracket 10 to the power of 4 multiply by 10 to the power of 6 10 to the power of 4 multiply by 10 to the power of 6 is same thing as once you have the same base and they are multiplying each other you take one base which is 10 then you add the powers okay to give you 10 to the power of 10. So let's apply it here. Let's apply it here. So 10 to the power of 4 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 will give us 10 to the power of 10 minus 10 to the power of 6 times 1 is 10 to the power of 6 divided by 9. Okay. Plus, now here we have two brackets. 10 to the power of 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of 5 is sent as 10 to the power of 6 minus 10 to the power of 1 multiplied by 1 is 10 to the power of 1 divided by 9 plus now we have this to be divided by 9 divided by 9 let's get this to be the same thing as something over 9 which is what 9 times 5 over 9 right and 9 times 5 will give us 45 over 9 perfect so let's continue from this side of the board so, but before that, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please don't hesitate to click on the subscription button and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you very much. So, this is what we have. What we have is equivalent to, is equal to. So, we have, let me recopy what we have here so that we continue. So, we have 10 to the power of 10 minus 10 to the power of 6 divided by 9 plus 2 brackets 10 to the power of 6 minus 10 to the power of 1 over 9 
plus 45 over 9. All right. Now, notice that they all have the same denominator. So we can do what? Put everything over 9. Then we bring out what we have here. So what we have here is 10 to the power of 10 minus 10 to the power of 6. Plus, now this sentence has 2 times what? 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 minus 2 times 10, which is 20, right? Plus 45. Okay, so we have the square root of, we have 10 to the power of 10, okay? Now, 10 to the power of 6 plus 2 times 10 to the power of 6. So we have 2 times 10 to the power of 6 minus 10 to the power of 6. 1 10 to the power of 6 will remain, right? So we have plus 10 to the power of 6 remaining. Then 45 minus 20 is what? 25 divided by 9. Okay? So this is what we have now. We notice that the number has reduced. Now, this is equal to the square root of... This is same thing as 10 to the power of 5 multiplied by 2, right? Plus 10 to the power of 5 plus 1, right? Because 6 is same thing as 10 to the power of 5 plus 1, plus 25 is same thing as 5 squared divided by 9. We are getting to the solution, okay? All right. So, um, the solution continues. Now, this is it. So, let's simplify this further. This same thing as square root of, so this same thing as 10 to the power of 5 squared, right? Since a to the power of m multiplied by n is same thing as a to the power of m raised to the power of n, okay? Or the other way around. So we can write this as this plus, now this is same thing as 10 to the power of 5 multiplied by 10 to the power of 1, right? When you have a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. Okay, so that is why I had to split this this way, plus 5 squared, everything divided by 9. All right, now this is equal to the square root of 10 to the power of 5 squared plus 10 to the power of 5 multiplied by 10 is same thing as 2 times 5, right? Plus 5 squared divided by 9. Now, I've formed what I've been trying to form all this way. And what is that? When you look at this, you notice that we have a plus b squared equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now, in this case, our a is 10 to the power of 5. That is our a. Our b is what? Our b is 5. So, when you substitute this into this, you are going to get the whole of this, all right? That means we can replace the, the, the numerator to, with 10 to the power of 5 plus 5, right? All squared. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, this same thing as square root of 10 to the power of 5 plus 5 squared divided by what? 9. Okay? All right. Now, this is equal to... The square root of 10 to the power of 5 plus 5 squared divided by 3 squared. Okay, so here we have what? 10 to the power of 5 plus 5 divided by 3 all squared. Since both of them are sharing the same power, so we can bring the power outside and put them inside the bracket. Now we have square root sign and square. So both of them will cancel each other. So that means that what we have here right now is what? Is equal to the square root of 10 to the power of 5 plus 5 divided by, sorry, without the square root sign. We have 10 to the power of 5 plus 5 divided by 3. Now let's continue from here. We actually almost at the end of it all. Now what is 10 to the power of 5? That is 100,000, right? So, 100,000 plus 5 is 100,005. So, what we have now is 100,000 and what? 5 divided by 3. Okay? So, this is equal to when 3 divides 10, we have 3, 3 remainder 1. If you divide 10, we have 3, 3 remainder 1. Divide 10, we have 3, 3 remainder 1. Divide another 10, 3, 3 remainder 1. 
If we divide 15, we have 5. And this becomes our solution. Finally, thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.